patellar fractures, basic anatomy, you can see the femur, the tibia, the fibula, and the patella, which we call it the kneecap. The kneecap is attached to the quadriceps tendon at the top and to the patellar tendon at the bottom. Movement of the patella across the knee is normally a gliding a smooth movement. A patellar fracture is an injury to the kneecap. These fractures are commonly caused by a direct blow to the kneecap or from a fall. Patellar fracture types. Transverse fracture. The fracture can be non-displaced or displaced. This is an example of a non-displaced fracture. Displaced fracture. The patella can be pulled apart by the attached thigh muscles. The patient will be unable to do active extension of the knee. Upper or lower pole fracture. The fracture at the site of the attachment of the patellar tendon as you can see here. Comminuted fracture means multiple pieces. The fracture can be non-displaced or displaced. This fracture type shatter into three or more pieces and is very unstable and hard to treat. Vertical fracture. The fracture is non-displaced and stable. The fracture fragment usually stay in place during healing. Osteochondral fracture. A small fracture of the patella usually associated with acute dislocation of the patella. The osteochondral fractures are usually located in the facet area of the patella. Treatment. Example of a transverse patellar fracture. If the fracture is non-displaced or minimally displaced and the patient is able to do full active extension of the knee, the patient is usually treated by a knee immobilizer or a brace. Transverse displaced fracture. The patient is unable to do active knee extension. Usually, this displaced fracture is treated by surgery. You can see here reduction of the fracture with a reduction clamp. K wires are placed perpendicular to the fracture. Figure 8 tension band wire is applied for compression of the fracture. These tension band wires convert the anterior distractive forces to compressive forces at the articular surface. As the knee moves in flexion, there will be compression at the articular surface. The other technique is cannulated lag screw with tension band. The wire passes through screws and crosses the patella in a figure 8 tension band. Partial patellectomy. It usually involves the distal pole. A smaller fragment are usually excised. The patellar tendon is reattached anteriorly with sutures. Total patellectomy. It's usually indicated for comminuted and displaced fractures of the patella that cannot be reconstructed. The bony fragments are excised before the reattachment of the patellar tendon. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.